Hey everybody, this is John for Pioneer Nexus MTG here with a banned and restricted announcement that Wizards did today, a little bit out of nowhere. Banned is Winota Joiner Forces, an expressive iteration in Pioneer, and simultaneously Explore, which is kind of the mirror format of Pioneer on Arena. Expressive iteration is banned. So their reasoning, as noted, we want Pioneer as diverse as possible to build an ever-growing collection of standard past. Over time, it has become clear that Winota is suppressing diversity as its power and consistency have drastically reduced incentives to play other linear creature strategies. Duh. Due to its large metagame share, high win rate, and ability to create frustrating removal check gameplay, Winota of Forces, Joiner of Forces, is banned. Expressive Iteration has been a multi-format all-star since its release. It has fueled a variety of successful is it strategies in Pioneer by providing both card selection and card advantage at a higher rate than is available to other decks, making it available difficult for other strategies to engage them. Although we recognize there are several other card draw spells in the format, notably Treasure Cruise and Dig Through Time, we currently believe the Delve spells to be blue, blue decks in Pioneer a unique identity among Eternal formats. As Pioneer's card pool has fewer, stronger cantrips and no fetch lands, we hope many of the Delve cards can continue to be a part of the format as a more moderate power level compared to how they play in other non-rotating formats. To lower the win rate of a variety of Izzet decks and bring them further in line with other strategies, while maintaining it makes them special in Pioneer, Expressive Iteration is banned. It's worth noting that we'll continue to align Pioneer banned announcements with Explore, which means Expressive Iteration is banned. Winota was previously banned in Explore. We made these changes, we know we revisit the ban during Delmi area in the United. However, now that Winota join our forces in Pioneer, we will plan, leave it banned, and explore going forward. So after hearing Wizards Reasoning taking a look at the decks in the format as of today, the day that Winota and Expressive Iteration are getting banned, let's take a look at the last 30 days. Winota, 14.4% of the winner's metagame share, along with Is It Phoenix and Is It Control, both being 6.2 and 5.2% respectively. And there's also the Is It uh, Prowess deck, which really doesn't show up on enough numbers that I've seen to really show up, but it is yet another card. Uh, is It Prowess down here. It's yet another card deck that can take advantage of Expressive Iteration. One other deck that also plays Expressive Iteration is Five Color Niv, although it doesn't always play four copies of it, so it won't be as badly hit by that. Now, taking a look at the last 14 days, you'll see uh, Winota here is still at 11% of the meta. Is it control up to 10%? Is it Phoenix up to 7% here? So you look at the prowess stack here, about 1% of the meta. So overall you have about 10%, 17, 18% of expressive iteration decks and Winota being around 11 to 15% of the meta for quite some time. This does really hold up the uh, other aggressive decks in the format. You do see some of the tribal decks and some of the prowess decks as well as the mono red aggro, burn, whatever you wish to call it still kind of performing under Winota, but it is much worse than that deck. The thing with Winota is Winota is a beatdown deck with a combo built into it, which really makes it difficult to kind of interact with. And also Winota having access to white has access to a lot of the white hate cards, whether it be Thalia if it wanted to, Archon of Ameria, Eidolon of Rhetoric, you know, it doesn't have to play the, the you know, hate cards like Damping Sphere and stuff. It can play actual hate bears with its strategy and it fits in because a lot of those are human so Winona obviously has been problematic um, and the fact that they mentioned that on turn three it can create an overwhelming board state and you know makes the opponent have a removal check which really kind of hard to argue with that because you know that is what Winona does but there are other decks that force you to have answers to creatures almost immediately whether it be the is it decks with thing in the ice on turn three like turn three is when uh, thing can sometimes flip you also have the issues with, um, you know, a deck like Martyr Grease Fang or Esper Grease Fang. Um, you know, that is vulnerable to a little bit more than removal. Obviously, it's also not as resilient to something like Graveyard Hate. But, you know, the argument they're using can be used against a lot of different decks. So, while I do agree with the banning of Winota, as it is probably clearly the best deck of the format the last two, three, four months um, by quite a wide margin, although obviously Rakdos mid-range has risen up to fight it, it's still very much needed to take a hit. And with the Expressive Iteration, it's really hard to argue with the banning of Expressive Iteration just on the basis of power level of the card alone. The problem is, is the Delve spells. Uh, Treasure Cruise and Dig Through Time have been cards that uh, have caused several other 
cards to be banned, mostly in Verdor of Truth. You know, I'm playing really well with that. It's like, how many more decks are going to have be able to play a bunch of cheap cantrips uh, and then find some way to abuse the Delve spells? You know, whether it be, is it Control, is it Phoenix? You know, the, is it uh, Prowess deck? You know, how many of these Delve spell decks are going to continue to exist until Wizards realizes that eventually the Delve spells are going to have to go? Although they didn't, you know, did obviously say they want that to be a defining format of the Pioneer format, is those cards being playable? But even if you look at you know, a deck like Azorius Control, um, you know, they don't even play copies of that. Instead, they tend to play Memory Deluge over the Delve spells. Um, you know, it's just a matter of, like, how efficient your deck is, and obviously the Izzet decks were the best at that. So, you know, both cards, obviously it's reasonable that they went, but you can make arguments for their particular reasoning for both cards that maybe some other card should have gone or, you know, an additional card should have gone if that's how they want the format to go. I wouldn't be surprised at some point if, you know, the Pioneer format gets better removal, you know, more efficient removal, like formats like, you know, Modern and Legacy have. Winota could come back because obviously it is a four-mana play. You know, it doesn't see a ton of play in formats like that as, you know, it's not the most efficient play and those formats are all about efficiency. But, you know, Pioneer lacks, you know, cards like uh, Unholy Heat, Path to Exile, um, you know, the various different pitch elementals in Modern, etc. You know, ca cards that keep the creature decks in line with, more in line with what the format's doing. So, while I don't disagree with what they did with the bans and restricted announcements, I do ne don't necessarily like their particular arguments about it. But, you know... That maybe things did take a hit. I didn't know that the Izzet decks were that overly powerful, but I suppose if you're taking away Winota that you maybe needed to hit some of the other mid-range decks that were going to kind of take over the format from there. Maybe they felt that those decks were, you know, going to be taking over the format with Winota. Knock down a peg and creature aggressive decks not being all that powerful. So, remains to be seen. I think overall it's a very positive thing for the format, but, you know, kind of unexpected and out of the blue and kind of renders the ban of Winota and Explorer a little weird timing that they didn't just coincide with this, especially if they were already considered banning Winota. But, you know, what can you do? But we'll see what decks rise to the top. And obviously it's going to cause a shuffling around of the deck guys that I was going to be working on. As in one of the next ones we work, were going to work on was one of the Is It decks. But, you know, they're taking a hit, so it's kind of hard to... Uh, see where they'll end up until the decks kind of shake out and get a little bit of iteration to them. So, we'll probably do something like Mono Red for the next deck guide. But, that said, I wanted to get this announcement out pretty quick as much as I could after work. So, this has been John for Pioneer Nexus MTG. Hope to see you in the next video.